Every time you try to explain that you race BMX to somebody, they always say, oh, I used to do that as a kid. I think people underestimate the amount of power and force that BMX riders put out. In BMX off the start line, we go from zero to about 35 miles per hour in around two seconds. BMX riders get up to like 280 RPMs a minute. There's only one gear, so you have to learn to accelerate that quickly. We're often producing upwards of 2,500 watts coming off of an eight meter tall starting hill. When we go from the downhill slope of the ramp, the flat, we're pulling close to five Gs. That's only the first two seconds of the race. The physics of what we're doing on our bike, like the biomechanics of all that, are huge and it's very important because we don't have any shock absorbers. If you're on a mountain bike or a dirt bike, you've got something to help you absorb you know, those landings if you're not perfect, but we have to be so precise and all that comes from your body position. There's absolutely nothing natural about the positions that we're put in when we're riding a BMX bicycle. So we often have to do a lot of preventative care on our bodies, different stretching, treatments, things like that. We're a sprint sport. So the power to, to weight ratio is, is really important. We have to be extremely explosive and, and really quick out of the start to jockey for position. The heavier you are, the stronger you're gonna have to be to get off the start. We only have two and a half seconds to get into position or you might get shot out the back or end up on the ground. We're not on tiny little hills that you could jump over on your feet anymore. The jumps are up sometimes to 40 feet. The starting hill is three stories high. When you actually see an Olympic level BMX track in person, it's a spectacle. And another thing we have to be careful with is just making sure not to overdo it because we're playing with limits here with jumping 40 feet and only having a small window of where to land. And when you're tired and your brain's not functioning as fast, it does become really dangerous. Yes, it's a uh, survival of the fittest.